you get triggered by what somebody say about their methods and you automatically start comparing it to your methods, you're triggered because you need your way to work more than they want theirs to. See, you need yours to work because you need yours to work to counteract something that traumatized you before you got started on your journey. That's the reality of it. So you're going to get mad at me because you're going to tell me that I give my kids a voice. You know, your kids don't need no voice. So if I don't give my kids a voice, but you teach my, you tell me soon, one of the first things I'm supposed to teach my kids how to do is die. Now I'm on me. But you tell me not to give my kids a voice. So if I don't teach my kids how to live in this real world, how they gonna call 911 and convince them, person on the other line, that it's really something wrong? How? If they can't talk defensively, if they can't answer questions, if they can't truly explain outside of mama fail. No, it's bigger than that. My mom fell. She's bleeding from her head and she's breathing sporadically. And they're gonna say, where are you? Then they can go to you and say, okay, go and hold up your mom's head or prop her foot up. You can understand it because instead of always cheating you like a child, we started teaching you life lessons and allowing you to have a response to our tutelage so that we can come to a definitive way of how you need to move forward. That's not, that's not an unorthodox way of parenting. That is preparing a vessel that you brought into this world without their permission to be able to survive at the highest and most productive level that they can by giving them all the knowledge they need as soon as you can, as soon as you can.